Welcome back to Infigan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we are going to take up one very interesting system of equations. Here we have equations x y times x plus y equal to 20. And second equation is x cube plus y cube equal to 65. We have to find out x y real. So let's get started by writing equation number one is very first and this one we will consider equation number two. Now I will use one algebraic identity it is a plus b whole cube. So let me write that identity first. a plus b whole cube, we know that it is a cube plus b cube plus 3 times ab in bracket a plus b. So now you can see, once I will use xy, it will be our equation 1 and equation 2 in right hand side. So it is x cube plus y cube equation number 2 and 3 times x y x plus y equation number 1. This is equation 1, this is equation 2. Let's put the value. Here I will write 65. Then 3 times x y times x plus y is 20. So once I will write, I will be writing 65 plus 60 which is equal to 125. Now x plus y whole cube is 125 and further we can write in terms of exponents it is 5 cube also. So once bases are not same exponents are same then base must be equal. So now you can see this value should be equal to this. So x plus y equal to 5. Let us consider this is equation number 3. Now I will put this 3 into the equation 1. See x plus y is now known 5. So let me put over there. So you will consider equation number 1 x y times x plus y equal to 20. And equation number 3 is x plus y equal to 5. So let us put over there x y times 5 equal to 20. Divide both sides with 5. So I will be writing x y is equal to 4. Now we have got one new system of equations where equations are little comfortable for us. That is x plus y equal to 5 and x y equal to 4. Now we have to solve this and I will demonstrate two methods, two approaches. Approach number one or method number one from here. I will write from this equation y. So y is equal to 4 over x in equation number one. Equation one is x plus y equal to 5. Now you will put this value over here. Then equation will be x plus 4 over x equal to 5. Multiply this equation with x both sides. So x square plus 4 equal to 5x. Take all the term to LHS. x square minus 5x plus 4 equal to 0. Now this is one quadratic equation. We can apply quadratic formula now. Let us apply quadratic formula. x square minus 5x plus 4 equal to 0 x square minus 5x plus 4 equal to 0. So I will write x is equal to minus b. So minus of minus 5 plus minus under the root b square. b is minus 5. So minus 5 is square minus 4 times 1 times 4 divided by 2a. So 2 times 1. If you will further simplify uh, this side, then it will be 5 plus minus a square root 25 minus 16 divided by 2. Now 25 minus 16 is 9 square root 9 over 2. A square root 9 is 3. So we will write 5 plus minus 3 over 2. So I can consider plus sign, then it will become 8 over 2. And once you will take minus sign, then you will write 2 over 2. So x will be 4 and 1. 
this is our x now we know that x y is equal to 4 that was our known equation equation number 3 now you can consider y from here y is equal to 4 over x so we can find out y is equal to 4 over x so you will write 4 over 4 for x is equal to 4 and 4 over 1 for x is equal to 1 for this value y is 4 over 1 for x is equal to 4 it is 4 over 4 so we can conclude y will be equal to 1 and 4 so our final answer becomes x y is equal to once x is 4 y is 1 and once x is 1 y will become 4 now approach number 1 you have seen already now approach number 2 it would be using algebraic identity let me write x plus y it was 5 so i will write our system was x y is equal to 4 this was our new system so i will use now identity how it is i will use x minus y whole square it is equal to x plus y whole square minus 4xy without using quadratic we can find out our answer now i will put x plus y value that is 5 so it will become 5 square minus 4 times xy is 4 so this value will be 25 minus 16 left hand side is x minus y whole square so this value will come out 9 and once you will take a square root both sides let me write once x minus y whole square is equal to 9 take a square root both sides you will be writing x minus y equal to plus minus 3 now using x minus y equation and x plus y equation these two we will simplify further the value of x and y let us write 5 once you will add you will get to know about x so we will write 5 plus minus 3 so x will be equal to 5 plus 3 over 2 or 5 minus 3 over 2 so x you will write 8 over 2 that is 4 5 minus 3 over 2 that is 1 now you can use any of the equation suppose i am using x plus y this equation equal to 5 once x is 4 then y will become 1 for x is equal to 4 and for x is equal to 1 put over there put here x is equal to 1 so i will write 1 plus y equal to 5 y is equal to 4 same conclusion we are getting that is 1 4 and 4 1 let me write here x comma y it is equal to 4 1 when x is 4 y is 1 and if x is 1 y is 4 this is our method number 2 or approach number 2 you can use algebraic identities also if you don't want to apply quadratic equation i hope this video will be somewhere meaningful to you do not forget to like share and subscribe friends bye bye till next video good luck and take care